we are going to look at present continuous using active and passive. So let's look at the structures of each. In active, affirmative, the structure is we use subject plus is or am or are. After we use our subject plus is or am or are, we now say plus what? Present participle form of the verb. From the plus what? Present participle form of the verb plus what? Abjit. This is for affirmative and active. But affirmative and passive, the structure to use is subject plus is or am or are plus being plus past participle form of the main verb plus by plus abjit. But not that. The subject of passive is the word object of active. I do tell you this, right? And uh, the object of passive is the subject of what? Act is the what? Is the subject of active, right? And don't forget any verb that you are given. It, the main verb here, any main verb you are given, we are using the past participle form of that verb. Is that understood? So the next we have negative. Negative structure under active, how do you formulate it? The formula is subject plus isn't or am not or aren't plus present participle plus object. But for passive, the formula to use is subject plus isn't or am not or aren't plus being plus past participle form of the main verb. Lastly, the next structure is what? Questioned. So the, in question, active, how do you formulate it? We begin with either is or am or are plus subject plus present participle. You know present participle verbs with ing, right? Plus object. Then for passive question, how do we form, formulate it under present continuous? We begin with also is or am or are plus subject plus being plus past participle form of the of the what main verb plus by plus what object. So here are example given. This plus means affirmative, right? This minus means negative. This question mark symbols means what question. So here they are beating me. They are beating me. So here they is our subject under active, right? Our beating is our verb, right? Me is the word object. Is that understood? So we are changing it to passive voice. We now say I am being beaten by them. Don't forget, as I said earlier, the subject of passive is the sort. The subject of passive is the object of what active. Isn't it? This me is object. The subject form is what I. And you know I goes with what am, right? So we use our am. After am, then what being? We use being. So this beaten, this beaten is our member, right? So as we said earlier, any member you are given, you are turning to what past participle form of that main verb. So that's why we said I am being beaten by verb. So in negative form, we now say they aren't beating me. If you look at the structure, it is like that, right? In passive, we now say I am not being beaten by verb. Already since you know the subject and object is very simple, right? So for question, here you can say are they beating me? So here you can say, am I being beaten by them? Somebody might say, might ask, what, so why do you begin with, with am? So already you know your subject is I now, isn't it? So that is for this. So the next one we have, cat is eating mouse. Cat is eating mouse. <laughs> cat is eating mouse. So here our subject is cat. Singular subject. 
is eating mouse. This mouse is also singular, right? So we now say mouse, you know, mouse is our subject and that has it. Is being eaten by cat. Okay, so you know how we formulate it, right? Subject, verb, object, right? So this mouse is our subject and our passive, but in, in active is our object. Is being eaten. Don't forget here you have eaten. The PPV, uh, this is your verb. You are member of eating. You use the word PPV form of it, meaning the past participle form of that main verb, isn't it? Mouse is being eaten by cat. So negative cat under active cat isn't eating mouse. Passive, we now say mouse isn't being eaten by cat. So for question form, we now say is cat eating mouse? This is active. Passive, we now say is mouse being eaten by cat? So lastly, our last example here, cats are eating mice. You know, this mice is the plural of mouse. Right? So here you have your Cats as your subject are eating as your verb. Mice is your what? Object. So in past we now say mice are eaten by cats. Why do you use mice are? Because mice is plural. You can use are. Don't say ah. No, don't say is right. Mice are eaten by cats. Negative, you now say under active, you can say cats aren't eating mice. Passive, you can say mice aren't eaten by cats. Active question, we can say, are cats eaten mice? First, you can say, are mice eaten by cats? This is all about today's lesson. I do hope that you understand. Any question? Based on what we have discussed. Now, any question? Come again. Okay, go ahead. Last, the last sentence. Uh huh. What is it that you don't understand over there? This is not person, this is observation. Very good. Even this one as well. I made a mistake, please. You should correct it. Being. It's a good observation. Please, you should correct it. Now. Thank you very much for this observation. But what I pro, what based on what I was saying, I was saying it, <laughs> but in written I was not saying it right. Okay, that's good observation. Okay, we are stopping here.